Rose, during the commercial break, you were sharing with me how you met Jack Palance. Share that with the viewers. Quite a, quite a lovely story. Um, he, I was working in New York City at the time, and my agent came from Massachusetts with some gentlemen, and he said, have you ever been to the Copacabana? I said, no. So he said, would you like to go tonight? Meet me there. So I did. I met him and a bunch of gentlemen. We go into the Copacabana, and there's more gentlemen sitting at a, a, a booth. And my agent is introducing me, Rose Bonanza, this is so-and-so. And all the men shook my hand. But the only man that stood up that was at the table was Jack Palance. Wow. And that's how I met him. And then some years later, I'm working in a club in Washington, D.C., and I get a phone call. And they, it says, so, you know, this is Jack Palance. I said, yes, and I'm the queen mother. And I hung up. <laughs> <laughs> so so he, wrote. <laughs> you know, he calls back and he mm -hmm. says, well, um, don't, don't tell her not to hang up because this is really Jack Palance. I said, okay. So I got on the phone. <laughs> And he said, we met at the Copacabana. <laughs> so, so, so he said, I, I have a favor. Would you um, do a benefit show with me and Dorothy L'Amour mm -hmm. at uh, the Baltimore Hotel in, in Maryland? It's for the Boys and Girls Club of uh, Baltimore, Maryland. I said, certainly. Do you mind if I bring some more kids with me? We could do a whole show, you know. Mm -hmm. And we did. That's what I did. I brought all, all these kids, and we, we did do the benefit show the next day for the Boys and Girls Club. Then, some years later, I'm working at the Hacienda Hotel in Bakersfield, California. Mm -hmm. I walk in my dressing room one evening, and the, it, the room is loaded with flowers. I hardly could move. All the cards are from people I don't know except Jack. You mm -hmm. know, I knew his name on one of the cards. So when I get out there to do my show, there he is with, I don't know how many cattle ranchers in <laughs> Bakersfield, California oh, to great. see the show. <laughs> it was fabulous. They were hooping and hollering. And I didn't even know he had a cattle ranch in Bakersfield, California. Mm -hmm. Well, I had, we had some nice times. You know, he was quite a gentleman. He was just a lovely, lovely man. Very well spoken. And of course, I thought he was a fantastic actor. Right, right. And we got along very well. Well, Rose, you obviously made an impression on all of these people <laughs> that you're mentioning. In your career, do you have someone who left the, the most lasting impression on you? There, I can't boil it down just to one person. Mm -hmm. There are so many people who, who in, 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 the, in the ladder of life, mm -hmm. that have helped me get to where I am mm -hmm. and very kind and, and gentle and, and lovely people. My agent from Massachusetts, Billy Fiore, he was uh, a very touching in my life. He used to talk to my dad all the time my, on the phone. My father would say, w do you know what time she got off the show and she went home to bed? Do you know, <laughs> you know that kind of thing? Because I was a young girl and my dad was worried about me. Right. And Billy Fiore would say, don't worry, we got our eye on her. She, she's not doing nothing she's not supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> and that's only, you know, one person. And mm -hmm. of course, there, there are people in the business mm -hmm. that have been very, very kind to me mm -hmm. and, and, and help in my, in my, in my uh, career right now where it's at. Well, you're still going strong, Rose. Yes, I'm so I impressed by you. Just last year, I know you were performing in New York City. At uh, Hofstra University, uh -huh. yes, we're gonna the Mets. <laughs> yeah, we're going to show our viewers some of that video this Lovely. morning. Lovely. It, it's so great because you have a little baseball uniform on, yeah. Rose, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with heels. Right, right, <laughs> with those big, oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not just touring in New York or Vegas, like you mentioned this past summer, or Key West. You're touring everywhere. everywhere. Right, We're, wherever the job is, mm -hmm. and that, that's where I'm going. After here, I'm leaving, I go to Manhattan to the Metropolitan Room, mm -hmm. so I'll be doing that, and, and it just goes on and on. <laughs> Do you get tired, <laughs> Thank Rose? Thank goodness. Um, not, not really tired. It's the traveling and the packing mm -hmm. is, is cumbersome, mm -hmm. you know, because, like, you don't know what 
is it going to be hot? Is it going to be cold? You know? right, right. <laughs> which shoes should I bring for which dress? <laughs> so that's the most difficult part that's for the, you. <laughs> that's it. Everything else is a breeze. A you know, it's cake. a cakewalk. <laughs> well, we're so fortunate to have you here in Key West. How did Key West come into your life, Rose? Oh, well over 20 years ago. You mm -hmm. know, I like, I'm a jazz singer. I mm -hmm. write jazz music, among other kinds. But where else would it be? I mean, this mm -hmm. is the place to come. Mm -hmm. And once we came to uh, Key West, that was it. Mm -hmm. I started doing the Sunday Showcase, and, and that was it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm you were here sold. every year in March, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> well, I look forward to it every year. And Rose, we're going to show too. some of your performances at the end of today's show. I'm going to talk still a little bit more with you. So don't go away. More Rose Bonanza is coming up.